Welcome back to Five Rounds. It is going down this weekend. UFC 197 from Las Vegas, Nevada. John Jones taking on OSP. Tune in to FN this Thursday for a one-hour preview show as we are getting you set for all the action going down in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is for the interim light heavyweight championship of the world. John Jones returns. However, it should be Daniel Cormier he's facing. Cormier is out. out. OSP is in. I know a lot of people believe that OSP is going to get slaughtered in this fight because John Jones has had his eye on the prize. That is Daniel Cormier at this point the most dangerous guy yeah. at 205 pounds. And we talked to Daniel Cormier, who said, if you're prepared for number one, you're prepared for number two, yeah. number three, number four, and so on. Is OSP gonna handle, be able to handle John Jones because of everything he brings to the table? We've chatted with the best fighters, the most accomplished coaches in the world. They believe John Jones is the best to ever put on gloves. So I guess we don't have to have the fight. I mean, we, <laughs> we know who's gonna win. It's still a fight. You still have to have it. You still have to show up on the night. You still have to bring the skills and you still have to face a man who has a specific collection of skills. And I've been spending a lot of time really examining OSP, really digging in. First thing you find out is the guy's an unbelievable athlete. His athletic platform is so high, and that's powerful. But also, you look at a couple of his key knockouts in the UFC, and they have one thing in common, and you'll see them uh, coming up right here on the screen. You, you watch OSP in his two signature knockouts, backing up right there, backing up with the uppercut. I think we'll see a replay. See, stepping back with the right leg, driving, and there again, Shogun, stepping back, open door, left hook, bam, slams the door shut, shuts the lights off. Both of those are backing up. That is a very specific skill. That's a very specific skill that you have to prepare for with OSP. Now Greg Jackson and uh, that team understands that. And OSP, uh, John Jones will not be pursuing him. So that takes that away. And it becomes an even more specific thing if OSP is going to get the job done. He has to penetrate in. When he, Generally, when you attack and get closer to John, he gets even closer and he elbows you. As John comes in, when you come in, then you have to retreat. You have to manage this really nebulous distance. Very, very hard to do. But if OSP is going to lay out John Jones, that's how it's going to happen. When you look at John Jones, uh, possibly the highest fight IQ in the game, you add to that creativity, his genetic gifts, the amount of time he's spent inside of the octagon against some of the best fighters on the planet. It feels like he's going to have an advantage everywhere. He does. He has an advantage everywhere. And you see how great he looked against my guy, Daniel. Cormier and Cormier is the second best fighter in the world trying to prove he can be the best fighter in the world where does OSP fit in that well OSP has a few things he is as good of an athlete as John Jones maybe a tiny bit better and even if that's the case probably the only guy who's ever been a stronger athlete than him but John Jones would win this fight is it eight times out of ten is it nine times out of ten who knows? But if OSP is going to do it, he's going to draw him into that weird zone and catch him backing up. Coming up, can Demetrius Johnson add an Olympic gold medalist to his long list of victims, or will Henry Cejudo dethrone the only man to wear flyweight gold in the UFC? We'll discuss when five rounds on FN continues. Make sure you visit FightNetwork.com or download our app for all the latest MMA, wrestling, and boxing news, videos, and podcasts. And don't forget to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. The co-featured bout of UFC 197, the 125-pound championship up for grabs, uh, arguably the pound-for-pound -pound best fighter right now, in Demetrius Johnson taking on the undefeated Henry Cejudo. And what I like about this fight is Cejudo, undefeated as a mixed martial artist, but in the UFC, Dustin Kimura, Chris Carriasso, Chico Camus, Juice De Silva, his competition just kept getting steeper and steeper, and I think he was able to handle everything. However, this is a different assignment in Demetrius Johnson. It, very, very difficult to prepare for a guy that can really do everything very, very well. Yeah, steeper and steeper and steeper and the like straight up now. And this is 
a real big challenge for any fighter. John Jones, Demetrius Johnson, two pound for best, pound for pound best guys in the world, and both of them are facing underdogs. So it's an odd and interesting fight. You could look at any moment from a Demetrius Johnson fight, the way he moves, the way he controls range, the way he controls timing, it's the same, oh look at that. It's the same fight for him that he's been facing. Somebody who has to catch him, has to pressure him, has to hit him hard with something, Dodson has done that. We've seen it happen to him before. For if uh, Sahudo's going to do it, it's going to be a big upset. Not impossible, but a big upset. I think it's got to come down to wrestling next week. All the fallout from everything that's going down in Las Vegas for Robin Black and our entire Fight Network crew. I'm John Ramsey, and we'll see you next time on Five Rounds.